everyone, welcome back to Night In with Mata, Finding Camellia Edition. I highly recommend that you uh, do a little read before because we have some spoilers today. Let me tell you, tons <laughs> and tons of beware. But if you want to forge ahead anyway, here's a quick primer. Okay, so Finding Camellia is a story of a young girl, Camellia, who has been kidnapped by the royal house of Vale at a young age and then forced into a masquerade as Camellius, a young boy who is second heir to the family fortune. Why, you ask? Well, <laughs> you'll just have to watch and find out. Ooh. Right? Ooh, okay, yes. before we begin, da -da -da -da, that's your sound. Introductions. This couch. Hi, I am Jeanette, and I will be reading for Camellius. Mm. Oh, God. Whoa, yes. that's, that's the name of the... the uh, <laughs> right? Hi, We're fighting you! There you are. Hi, I'm Jefferson, and I'll be reading for Claude. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Jefferson. Drink your water. Well, my name is Ren. I am sound effects, friend two, and Princess Rosina. Hi, my name is Michael John, and I will be reading Kieran and fan, friend three. Bestie. Let's go. <laughs> and again, I'm Ashley Morgan. I'll be reading for Girl 2, Friend 1, and Anastasia. Ooh. I like Friend 2, though, too. <laughs> well, now that we got the introductions out of the way yes. and you know which cool characters we're playing, let's do a mid through quick summary recap situation of episode 7 just to get us in. Rin, Ooh. take it away. Okay. Camellia was mysteriously born into a brothel in a large capital city. But as a child, she was abducted from the streets and taken to House Bale, a royal family. The estate is beautiful and the servants super friendly. The lady of the house, Anastasia Bale, is a cold and demanding mother figure. She tells Camellia that she was kidnapped because her mother stole something very, very valuable and precious to her and must be punished. They cut off all her golden locks and it was all very traumatizing. However, one of the nice servants informs Camellia that everything will be okay. She's at her father, Lord Bale's house. Camellia is getting acquainted with the new surroundings and the new faces. And one of those faces is Claude, who plays a large part in the overall story and in episode seven. Let's start reading. Is he really a boy? What an amusing question, Your Highness. He's just so pretty. Everyone must think he's a girl. Lynch. He does hear that a lot. <laughs> just as expected, Kieran's such a gentleman. Hmm, if I didn't know he was a boy, how? I'd be jealous of his beauty. Hmm. Finding Camellia, episode seven. Brother, I have a lesson to attend. You're mistaken, Leas. Master Theodore comes tomorrow morning. But, but... Lord Claude will be teaching you how to shoot today. Dear. You promise, Claude. Please. Remember? Of course. <laughs> May I ask you something? Me? Why did you taste the snow earlier? Oh, um... I was curious. Curious? About how it would taste? <laughs> Only street urchins would be curious about something like that. What? Me. So, what did it taste like? Oh. Ooh. God. <laughs> Tell me, Camellius. But dumb. <laughs> Tremble. Tremble. Come on. It was... Bum. Sting. Claude! Lord Claude is injured! My lord! Thud! Get a doctor! Enough! Please. It's just a small burn. Nothing to fuss over. Hmm. <laughs> Why are you crying? I'm the one who got injured. Trap! <laughs> what are you... Perhaps. Oh no, what have I done? I I'm, I'm sorry. I hurt a noble. Is he going to slap me or whip me? Will, will I be executed? What will happen to me when Lady Anastasia finds out? Help me, mother. Da da da. Please forgive me. It was my fault. To be continued. 
Oh, lots to wow. unpack okay. here. But quick. I want a one word response. Rin. <gasps> ba -dum, ba -dum. <laughs> I was gonna pick that one. <laughs> ba -dum, ba -dum. <laughs> Wait, why ba -dum, ba -dum? Cause the heart beating. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Sorry, oh. sound guy. <laughs> Okay, Michael John. I'm going with my dude over here was very sultry. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. I felt something. Okay, I felt mm. something too. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> wait, I saw wait, you wait, over I there. I felt something. <laughs> 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 I felt a dump a dump, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're for dump a dump a dump. We're for dump a dumping. Okay. Oh, God, okay. Never said. <laughs> I guess I can pick like another uh, sound effect. So I'm going to go with bang. This is such a banger of an episode. Oh. <laughs> okay, Jenna. I just keep thinking like warning. Like I'm getting like warning signs. Mm. Like it's coming in. They're warning signs. <laughs> You're getting like a telepathic. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. got it. Like what it's being a message. About? Uh, uh, Anastasia, sorry. I know you have like a soft that's... spot, but like. With what happened, I just know Anastasia's gonna be like. Oh, that's true. She's like, how dare you? And then also, like, yeah. what's gonna happen next? We don't know. It ended, you know, so suddenly. Yeah. To be continued. Yes, I think I'm gonna pick wet. What is because it? the snow was wet. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That really resonated with me because snow. Right, yeah. Right. yeah, there was so much you're so snow. You're so cool about it. Yeah, because yeah. I'm cool as a cucumber. Exactly. Yeah. Big snow like, fan, Like huh? Claude. I mean, right. like alliteration. Claude. Cucumber, cool, Claude, everything. Right, right. Exactly. right? No other reason. Yeah, no other reason. Yeah. It all starts with the word C. Thank you. Yeah. So does... <laughs> <laughs> Camellias. And... Camellias, you're right. Yeah. Absolutely, good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what an man, what an episode. I. That's all I got for you. <laughs> All right, now it's time for one of my favorite <laughs> segments, The Hot Takes, where we answer questions from our Discord community. Thank you so much for watching. Even better, thank you for asking us fun questions. So, our first question is, who is more evil? Ooh. Anastasia or Cinderella's stepmother? Oh. Think about it, because I know you guys don't think it's Anastasia, so yeah. <laughs> really think I, about your answers here. Definitely not Anastasia, because Lady Tremaine is way more evil because she has Cinderella like mopping the floor. Yeah. Being a maid in general and just like cleaning the house while her like actual sister's sisters like have fun and just stick and around. They're rude to her. Really crude. They're rude. Yeah, really rude. It's housework, really. Jefferson. She's doing housework. Yeah, I hate And that's why housework. she's more yeah. evil because what is it? Like, we, this character, she, he or she has a, a, a nice house to live in. Right. She gets her own bath. Her own clothes, her own maids. Okay, it's, but like, uh -oh. uh, make someone clean, kidnap someone, and cut their hair, and the don't tea. tell them where their mother is. Uh, I you mean, know, very, very good. You point. say kidnapping, I say she was kidnapped. <laughs> Anastasia came kidnapping. through and literally just grabbed her. Yeah, so yeah. You're coming with me. Knocked her out. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I was trying oh. to be nice. She yeah. grabbed her. I mean, they're both pretty bad depending on like how you're looking at it. One is like a identity strip, and then the other one's like a luxury strip. Because like. Mm. Depends on which one you're looking for. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because, like, Camellia still cannot be Camellia. She has to be a whole new person for whoever, however long she has to be this. And when she ends being Camellia, right? She, she. Yeah. yeah. But can we yeah. argue that Camellia gets to be Camellia at night? But during the day, it has to be Camellia. So she's just acting and during the day and gets all the luxury right. by just pretending. But then at night, gets to be her true self. What? Like, what? Fiona what, 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 well, from <laughs> That's <laughs> exactly what it was. Yeah. Fiona from Trey. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I go. mean, Cinderella has to be Cinderella 24-7 all the time. Exactly. Or, like, she gets to watch everyone else gets picked on. have this extravagant life. Where Camellia gets to have the extravagant life she just has to do it under unconventional terms. Yeah, very unconventional terms, but... Okay, so Small price to pay for Really salvation. quickly, who's eviler? One word, eviler. Is that a word? Who's more evil? Stepmother or Anastasia? Let's vote, let's vote. Nope, you gotta oh, pick one. Oh, oh uh, Lady Tremaine. Okay. Yeah, stepmother. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I guess I'll go with stepmother. I'm going, I'm going you. Oh. Not, not specifically you, but I, I, I'm going with Anastasia. And the reason why is because I personally think that a uh, person's identity is one of the most important things that we can give each other in our lives. And cutting away that identity, boom. 
God. I'm just going against the grain. I mean, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. God, I hate that it makes sense. I'm a big identity guy. Yeah. So, yeah. so I'm just like, mm. I don't mean to I'm going stepmother you. because whatever. Because <laughs> <laughs> she does know Rob. And they, no, I, I, I agree, sort of. But she can be her identity at night. She's just being an actor. She's just a really good yeah. method actor. That's all I'm saying. She probably well. went to theater school. Wait, in that village. She in that village. I mean, she definitely went to theater. Who's to say that she wouldn't have gotten brothel. sick and maybe died as a child because she grew up really poor? True. Maybe, uh, maybe Anastasia saved her. This is the the truth, that's heartfelt story that we all needed. Right. I wish she hadn't have knocked her out. That you know, if she hadn't have uh, uh, done yeah. that, you know. it was the other guy. Yeah, technically it wasn't her. Okay, yeah, but was, she was like, wouldn't it be ashamed if we set fire? No, what would happen if we set fire to this place while it's raining? Oh, I'm kidding. Yeah. It was she wasn't joke. kidding. She wasn't kidding. What happened you know to humor she, around yeah. here? Right? <laughs> Come on. She would never <laughs> actually do it. And you're right, technically Anastasia did not knock her out. That's true. That, her that's help true. did. Her help did help. So now, is your argument still valid? Because she didn't knock her out. <laughs> I mean, thank God she didn't knock her out. Thank God. Well, I mean, yep, I think the stepmother is more evil just because of go. that. We're well, all in agreement. I mean, Camelia wasn't living amazing life before that. I know, very she true. Was very true. It was with her mom. But her mom. True. Look, look, like I'm a mama's mom boy. Is dead. So, sure. like, dead, yeah. dead, right? Yeah. Cinderella's mom? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, she, it, it sucked that the situation ended. Yeah. But Camelia still has a mom. Right. Yeah. I, I agree. think in all these situations, I blame the men. I mean, that's fair too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's be real. You're, Lord Bale. Yep. Yeah. Lord Bale. It's your what about fault? Lord Bale? No. Well, no, Lord he's Bale because he always bails. Oh. oh. That's our vocabulary word for that. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna end the hot takes yeah. right now because yeah. I got real hot up got in here. Scalding. Oh my god. Mm. Just saying. Mm. Now this wouldn't be a Manta event without Night in a Wars, and now I'm more prestigious because this is an award ceremony. So we're going to give out awards on every episode, so please stay tuned. This is our first award Ooh. for Night In. Wow. Michael John, what are you, who, what, when, yes, where, how, yes, are, what yes, are you awarding yes, this yes. evening? I just came up with this on my own. Mm -hmm. The award is called the Curiosity Award wow. oh. because what does snow really taste like? Oh. Ooh. So wait, are you asking who's the most curious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's obviously going to be uh, Camellia, obviously. Okay, you're because most... Because what, no, what does elaborate. snow taste like? Right, what does snow taste like? And first of all, see, like I want to know that, <laughs> you know? Flip. Have you ever just flip, like... Flip. Well, we actually have some snow. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Bring out a huge thing. Right. Yeah. Maybe it's like an, it's a, a season-long question that gets resolved by episode 30. Ooh. Ooh. Well, we're gonna find out. Find out. Okay, so your vote is for Camellia. For okay. sure. Ren, Jefferson, Jeanette? Claude. Claude's curiosity. more curious because like, Camellia oh, just did true. it. She's just like, you know, like, yeah, I just do this kind of stuff. And Claude's like, why? Yo, why? Are you, are you a Who are you? What does it taste like? Whoa. Oh, I'm so intrigued. You're so all many for, questions. We're all forgetting the most, hold on, the most curious person in this entire episode. <gasps> Is Definitely, it, I think I, I, I'm probably gonna go with Claude now, on, right? the more I think about it. Yeah, right. girl number two. Yeah. That's me! She, she was wondering who the heck... That's so true. She was like, the most yeah, curious. Girl. Right here, right? yeah. Girl, who, girl number two. It goes for girl number two. Yeah. Oh, in the beginning, like, why did she... She, she was like, yeah. is that a boy? Is that a boy? Is that a boy? Yeah. Or a girl? The first yeah. person to ask that, by the way. Yeah. Oh. So, so oh. very true. You're right. People so are, curious. Right. People are talking. Mm. They may not be talking out loud, but they're talking. <laughs> so wait, you say princess? Yeah. Rosina? For curious. Curious award. Claude. Uh, you like that? <laughs> I'm gonna switch to Claude. I think that was yeah, well said, well said, well said. Oh, is it majority? Mm. Ren? No, 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 oh, no, 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 it's whatever you want. Yeah. I think also Princess Rosina. Wow, okay, oh. two, two. I'm gonna throw you guys for a... Oh. Here we go, tiebreaker. I'm gonna say Karen, because... Oh. Oof. This uh, person just appears out of nowhere. You think your dad and your mom are happy, and then now you have a sibling out of nowhere. Hmm. Um, I feel like he's the most out of the loop and the most curious, but has adapted quite well. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's. Kieran is such a nice guy. Speaking it's of an you. honor to play him. I hope he oh, stays yes. the entire time. Wait until you're on. Oh, sorry, Red. No, I was just saying. It's like speaking of awards and Kieran. I would say big best Big Brother award definitely. 
Mm. Yes. Oh, yeah. He's just the best character. He's always you know? looking out for her and acknowledging that, like, despite the, the situation that she's in, he still acknowledges her and just, like, is such a good brother. Make sure she's okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's such a sweetheart. And he stands up for her whenever, yeah, you know, that's Mama true. gets a little. Mm. He's just like. He's okay. always there for her. Can we do most handsome word? Now I'm curious. Amelia's <laughs> Claude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're well guys. Let's, let's save some of our awards for later episodes. Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in, and let us know who you would award these awards to. Now you say who you would award these awards to. Who you would pick below, so we can uh, have some banter. Fun. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> That was such a fun recap of episode seven, such a fun read through of episode seven. We had awards, we did hot takes, we did so much. So be sure to stay tuned next week as we dive into the next episode of Finding Camellia. <laughs> <laughs>